I'm not going to say hi. I'm just going to get down straight to what we're what I'm talking about today. Because I've been gone for months, and I'm not just going to shrug that off. What? What do you think I am, a faker? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> now, um, right now, it is currently 10.55 p.m. This is on a school night. And, um, I don't know, I just want to make sure that I just get this video, you know, just done so that you guys know what's been going on. I just opened up OBS, which is what I use to stream and record all my narrations or streams on Twitch. And, um, just, there's no script, there's no, no pad on my iPhone. None of that. No. Completely unfiltered, just talking here. And so, let's just start with pretty much the one question. Where the fuck have you been? <laughs> um, to be honest, I've still, I'm still here. I've just been sitting down on this, you know, just on this chair. And just with a new pair of headphones, a television that I'm looking at right now that's like inches away from the monitor, and a capture card and a copy of Final Fantasy XV. And it's been months since the new year started. And so I'll just say this. Happy very late new year. I'm going to be honest, I should have came out with an update video at least like a few days after the new year started. But I just want to get my mind off of Ruby to get to just get my mind off of just writing and narrating fanfics in general. And just focus on other things that make me feel a lot better. Because I feel that like as times have went on well as well as time went on as, you know, the fandom became much more, you know, large and grand, I'll call, quote unquote. I feel that it's just made me more angry or just like completely doubtful of it. Because, to be honest, you have. You just have like things that like you see that make you think of the worst for something and if you guys don't know me fully like if you don't know me in real life I like to think the worst sometimes <laughs> and it's bad it's really bad because then it gets me demotivated and I don't want to do the damn thing anymore and I'm obviously and this is actually the one time where I can say that like no I wasn't lazy no I wasn't procrastinating not at all. This is actually just me being burned out on Ruby. Because I've been doing this for such a long time that it's it's just gotten to me. September 2013 is when I started writing fanfiction. August of 2013 was when I started reading it. I didn't start writing until a month later. So I've been doing this for more than three years by now. And I've seen just how change the entire community has become i mean when i first saw like the fan fiction um section for ruby it was just there was like less than 500 fix so that's how early i was to the game and now over like what like 20k maybe even more than that i don't even know because i've barely been on the fan fiction website to even know how many stories there are or what stories have been published. All I just know, though, is just there must be a hell of a lot of John fix coming out. Because that's the last time I saw fanfiction.net, which was actually last week. That's all I saw in the recent in the recent published section or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. When you think the worst, you see the negatives and everything. And so, 
what I've just seen is just how cancerous, how toxic, how John-centric the whole community has become. And over the years, I've seen people leave because they couldn't take it anymore. They left because that's all there is. Like, just people that just write these... And I don't like to be an asshole to those that are just trying to just write a story. I'm just going to say this. Just please don't be offended by it. That's my opinion. Don't take my opinion too seriously. Because I've known people that have just left the fandom in general just because they couldn't take an opinion. I just feel like there hasn't been any stories that are actually developed. And there are some, maybe, that I have not seen. But the thing that I'm trying to point out is just what becomes popular. Well, what is good that becomes popular and what is good that becomes something that has been thrown to the slums? That other thing that I just said is pretty much what mostly happens now. Because everyone seems hell-bent on shipping. I've never seen a community become so hell-bent on shipping characters. Hell, let alone just seeing how many stories that have John just paired up with someone. And it seems like I'm shitting on John. I'm sorry to say this, but like, damn, everyone's just so... <laughs> I was going to say, everyone's so horny for him. That would sound really weird. Um, No, everyone just seems like so magnetized to him and I guessing there's something that they like I don't know I just, I'll, I'll leave them to that but I kept seeing that and I kept seeing people just leaving bad reviews because of a pairing or because of just one certain moment in the story or because of their goddamn grammar I mean like you can you can make a review like just talking about their grammar but at the same time, you gotta give them the benefit of the doubt that they may that English may not be their first language. Or or this is they're not as literate as you are. They may be younger than you. And so I've just seen just these cancerous things. I've just seen how people have just gotten so absorbed in like certain aspects of the show. Just and also Volume 4 also being a letdown, in my opinion. That, you know, it's kind of just been, like, taking a toll on me. And don't even get me started on Grim Eclipse, because that's one other thing. But, it's been months. I should still be, I should be getting over it. And I am. Just, albeit very slowly. I mean, I'm, if I'm, I'm going to be honest, I've actually thought about just leaving the fandom just leaving just the channel behind not even posting anything but that would just seem terrible just to do because the one thing that I wanted to do when I started doing fan fiction is just writing what would happen if this situation if this event happened or what if this happened instead of the canon event you know, like, what if this decision was different from the other? Let's. I got a gun. Pew, pew, pew. This is my decision gun. Pew, pew, pew. Um, <laughs> but I've just kind of been like looking just how the stories are. I just most of the time I just see them. They're just like harems or some shit, or they're just some cringy story. And it's like, what happened to the meaning? What happened to just thinking about like situations that could be that that we wonder could have happened if it were different, or what would the storyline be if this this situation occurred? I mean, there's definitely like AUs and everything. I won't get them. I won't just I won't shit on them. They're fine. I wrote an AU too. I mean, Barris and the Maid is an AU. Red Snowflakes is an AU. Blackening Rose is an AU. Everything I write is a fucking AU. The thing closest to being canon is... Actually, none of them are close to being canon at all. But I've just been in this negative loop. Just 
not thinking of the good things of the Ruby fandom. Like I've just been discrediting them so much just because I see these things and I'm like, what have we gone to? And to be honest, I should have been expecting this from more than a mile away because Ruby was blowing up. People were getting on, you know, like the fandom train. I don't know, I guess I just got on so early that, like, I guess I just saw things differently than what most people do now. And it's kind of just punched me in the process, I guess. Because I chose to think, think differently. Because I chose not to follow the crowd. And, I mean, like, who can't blame me for that? That's something I blame myself for automatically. But anyways, to get back onto it. To the reason why I'm just sitting here talking to you guys before heading off to bed. Because I need to go to bed. School, man. I gotta make sure at least I'm not struggling in that. At least not in terms of grades. Is because I'm trying to get out of this feeling. Just to look back at the positives. Remember the good days. And know that you could still have those good days. If you continue. You know just carving a path. And yes you have to take in the factor now that. People t tend to get too offended easily. That most people are having the hots for John. That most fanfics nowadays that are like actually really good are being completely left behind or well not left behind or being completely ignored. It's the sort of thing you have to like get over and just try to like not embrace I say but just carve a way around it I say. That, that's that's all I could say about that. I mean, I'm not really good at saying like things philosophically, but um, and that's just what I think. I just gotta stop being so uptight and just get back to doing what I was passionate about. Do the thing that made me have that mentality that I'm going to do this to make people happy because I didn't just start doing. Twitch. I didn't just start doing YouTube. I just I didn't just start doing this for no reason. Ruby, when I first viewed it and getting into fan fiction, is what sprouted the mentality of just making people happy and having a brighter day. And I'm gonna keep that. I'm not going to let some sort of like well let let these things that have been circulating affect me or take me down because that's not what I want to do and plus all the old dogs are kind of dying off well some of them and who's to say when those that have been around for the longest time will finally drop out where it's just a whole new generation of people that sort of changed how things are done. I shouldn't be scared of it, but I just do feel scared of it. But yeah, uh, anyway, sorry, sorry about that. Um, pretty much, if you're wondering when I'm going to do another narration... I'm going to be honest, not in a few days after uploading this video or in a couple months. I just don't know. And for those of you that stuck around for the longest of times, to see if I would even make anything new. I'm sorry for keeping you in, in the dark for so long. I tend to be the person that wants to let everyone know what's going on. 
I should have been doing that long before. But just this like mentality of how of, of what I've been looking at in terms of the Ruby community, it's it's kind of gone to me and I haven't been able to do it. And so that's why I'm here. I'm just sitting here just telling you guys like what's been going on, why I'm feeling this way and everything and what I think about it. Though I do know people that are though I do know people that are regulars that don't really care for this. But for those of you that care for it, thank you for listening. If you want to ask like if you want to talk more about this or if you want to if you want more quite if you have more questions that you want to answer like either just put them down in the comment section below or you know, put your opinion or a question in the comment section down below I'll try to respond as quickly as I can or if you actually want to talk to me in a more of a live presence um you could just find me on my Twitch channel I've been doing that more often but to end this off, once again, just know that I'm not killing off the channel. Just know that I'm not abandoning, a, well, going on a longer hiatus. I'm getting back into it. It'll just take some time. So, please, have some patience. I need to figure out what we're going to do next. In terms of narrating, I know we were going to do Children of Summer, but it's been so long already that my opinion on doing that, well, my decision on doing that now has kind of just been with withdrawn. And so I'm kind of just back in this, what am I going to read now sort of thing. Guess I'll just have to figure that out. Anyways, this has been The Darkened Rose. Sorry if I seemed a bit, um, meh, in a way. I just know that next time I do a video, though, or an update, I'll be in a much better mood. Don't worry. Stay classy. And please, have a great night or a great day. I'm going to head off to bed and just think more about this. Because I can't just shove aside this thing anymore. Well, not shove aside, but just put aside, you know. Yeah. Good night.